know that you fly, know that you shine. Long too long, y'all. Shalom. I just wanted to, um, I just wanted to do a quick shout out to the Afroasiatic family. You know, especially my Afroasiatic Hebrew family. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is just a quick little video. I just want to give a shout out to my. Um, I just want to give a shout out. Oh, shalom, shalom, y'all. I just want to give a shout out to my Afroasiatic Northern Beber family. My Moorish Afroasiatic family. I want to give a shout out to my Afroasiatic Eastern Cushetic family, the Afar, Oromo, and Somali. I want to give a shout out to my Afroasiatic Central Shemitic family, my Hebrews, the Afroasiatic Hebrews, the indigenous Afro Arabs, those who are descendant of the original. Um, you know, even our ancient ancestors, you know, you have, you know, Mesopotamia, you know, you have, uh, Sumeria, you know, our ancient Shemitic ancestors or whatever. I want to give a shout out to the Afroasiatic Southern Shemitic family, to the Amharic, to the Tigray, to the Tigrinya family. I want to give a shout out to you all. Um, on the Afroasiatic uh, list, there's six different paradigms. Um, you have Kemet on there as well. I don't, like I said, I'm not sure if they accept that or deal with that. But give a shout out to our Kemetic family as well. You know what I'm saying? Because if you look at these different, because I focus on three of the six Afroasiatic paradigms. I focus on Beber. I focus on Kashetic. And I focus on Shemitic. The reason why, and I don't focus on every one because it's, it's a big list. I focus on certain things. I focus on the Beber, the Northern Beber, the Moors. And it says the uh, Judeo-Israel Beber, you know, the Hebrews over there. I focus on, because I, you know, Moors, uh, you have Ruth, you have the Moabites, you know what I'm saying? You have the Moors, and plus... And the uh, the conscious, you know, the conscious community, the the Moors, is a paradigm that you know that's that's a part of um, the black consciousness. I focus on the the Eastern Cushetic. I focus on them, the Afar, the Oromo, and Somali. I have my first African friends was Oromo. Then you had uh, Somali. Then you had um, Ethiopian Amharic. You know, but first. I'll deal with Eastern Cushetic. You know, um, my friends was Oromo and Somali. So those are the Eastern Cushetic. I got love for them. I spent the nights at their house when I was in high school. They fed me. They treated me like family. So I got love to them. I still, a lot of my friends is Somali. A lot of my friends is Oromo. Give love to them. You know, and I also, um, and I deal with Shemitic, of course, because we are Shemitic. Everybody's not hermetic and you have the original some of the original shemetic people that are black or melanated or with hue or However, you want to call it, you know um, Central shemetic, which is our home base. That's the Hebrews. That's the Israelites the Afroasiatic Hebrews You know what I'm saying you have the Ishmaelites you have the Afro Arabs, you know the Midianites You know you have the Sumerians the Mesopotamians, you know what I'm saying the ancient Babylonians. That's all central shemetic they were black, they were melanated, you know what I'm saying? Um so that's so that's home base. You know what I'm saying? Um then you got Southern Shematic, where I had a bunch of friends that were Amharic, Ethiopian, Shemitic. So I give love and shouts out to them. That's part of my life, that's part of my family. Um and then you have Tigrinya, which is Southern Shemitic. They're not Hamitic. My wife is Eritrean. She's Tigrinya. She's Southern Shemitic. You know what I'm saying? So you have Central Shemitic and Southern Shemitic coming together. That's still Shemitic. No Hamitic at all. You know what I'm saying? And um, according to some of the research, Tigrinya people of Eritrea comes from Yemen, which goes back to Sheba, which goes back to ancient Israel. So there's a, even a greater possibility that she's an Israelite as well. 
back to the tribe of Judah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I did my DNA. Um, you had Madagascar. Um, if you look at uh, Babylon, the Timbuktu, the Malagasy. If I'm not mistaken, that goes back to Yehuda or Judah. 4.7% of the slaves was brought from there to here. And there's even a connection between Eritrea and uh, Madagascar. So it's like the father is this, I believe, the creator, the most high, bringing this thing together, you know what I'm saying, through divine inspiration. So it's I praise y'all for my family, for my wife. They show me love. My my, my Tigray and my Eritrea family show me love. Um, my Habasha family, which is Amharic and, you know, Amharic, Ethiopian, and Tigray and Eritrea, they show me love. They're like family. You know what I'm saying? Um... Yeah, I've, I have friends. Um, my friends back in high school, they was on heart. You know, the twins. I went to college with them. I worked with them. They family. You know what I'm saying? So I feel comfortable. Me being, and if you look at their culture, a lot of their cultures he brag as well. So, you know what I'm saying? And of course, I just give a shout out to our people, the Afro-Asiatic Hebrews that send not just in America, but scattered to the four corners of the earth amongst all nations. So I'm just giving a quick shout out, you know, showing some love. Shalom to you all. Shabbat shalom to those who are still in Shabbat. I hope you had a good Shabbat for those who just finished. It's time for us to come together, especially as an Afro-Asiatic family, first of all. I'm trying to have us, especially Beber, Kashetic, and Shemetic, I'm trying to have us three definitely come together as a family so people can see us coming together see how we're connected and we're more related than you think you know what i'm saying and um you know and we can reach out to our other brothers our other afro-asiatic brothers and sisters you know what i'm saying and it, it was just short you know so i'm learning right now i'm trying to learn the arabic i'm learning hebrew i'm learning somali i'm learning romo to bring them heart um I'm going to try to learn Malagasy, try to learn Tree, or Tree, the Ghanaian language, you know, um, yeah, so that's what I'm working on, you know what I'm saying, but my four major languages is two, Central Shemitic, Arabic, and Hebrew, you know, Aramaic is there as well, and then you have Amharic and Tigrayan, so those are my four base languages, when I talk about Afroasiatic Hebrew, those are the four languages I focus on. Hebrew, Arabic, Tigrinya, and Amharic. To reach out to my people, reach out to my friends, family, those who've been supporting me. You know what I'm saying? So, I just wanted to give a shout out. Say shalom. Peace.